Okay, Cody buddies, here we are. We're going to do Digging Carol with Start. So from now on, we are using a start function for all of our coding with Carol. So here it says, Carol has too many tennis balls and needs to bury them in the yard so the other dogs won't find them. Carol, Carol should move across the world and put one ball in each hole. Create a method called Bury Ball to help Carol solve the problem. Bury Ball should have Carol bury a single ball in a hole and come back to the surface. You also should create a start function. No code should be outside the function. So in our starting world down here, uh, Carol starts at the left and at the ending world, Carol's on the right with three balls in the hole. So let us go. All right, so we need to do a, a start function. So our function that is start. So remember we use two parentheses and then two curly brackets. And now what we want is two functions that are called bury ball. So we know we need to bury the ball three times. So let's put three bury ball functions for in our start. Now, if you remember the last time we did digging with Carol, um, we made a bury ball function. So what we're going to do is, so we're going to start with function start because that's what it told us to do. And we also need to uh, do function turn right. We're going to need that for our uh, for burying our ball. That was in our last assignment, digging Carol. So our turn right function is turn left three times. Alrighty, so there we go. That's our turn right function. We're also going to need a turn around function. Two curly brackets, so we're going to put our cursor right in the middle of the two curly, bra curly brackets and return. Now, our turnaround function is turn left twice. All right, so that's the functions we need in our berry ball function. So now we have to write one more function. It's called function berry ball. Curly brackets times two. Stick our cursor in the middle of the curly brackets and enter. So here's our move ball function. So follow Carol. We're going to move to the first dot. Then we're going to move to the second dot. Then we have to turn right to get Carol to move towards the the bottom of the hole, then we have to move to one dot, then move to the next dot, then move to the dot at the bottom of the hole, then we're going to put ball, ooh, we need the foot ball function, and then, uh, then we're going to do a, the turnaround function because we've got to turn around once he puts the balls at the bottom of the hole. Then we need to move out of the hole. So move and move to the next dot and move to the next dot. And we need it at the top. We need to turn right. And then we need to move one space. And then we need to finish our curly bracket, which we should have already had there. Yep, we did have it there. All right, let's run this and see what we're missing. I think we're missing berry ball. Oh, no, put ball is a function it already knows, so we definitely don't need a function for that. OK, 
Okay, so one, two, three, out of the hole, and then do turn right. And then we're going to turn right, and then move, move, put ball. Turn around is turn left. All right, you guys, that was very clear. Our function start is bury ball three times. So if we go down to 15, our function bury ball is what? leads everything but in order to do berry ball we need on number six line we have function turn right and then we have function turn around and um, that's what we need in the function berry ball we also need the function start so let's run the code like midway fast um, let's reset reset and we're going to run it one more time All right, so down at the bottom, we've got, here's the function berry ball, the turn right, and then up here we also need function start. So I just wanted to make sure you had all the code. Now uh, let's also check the code. So everything's great. Everything's great. So, you know, thank you coding buddies for being here. Be sure to like and subscribe so I can make more videos. Thanks so much. You have a great day.